EGEO, we are building a miniature copy of the world. So we take the real world and we create a version of it that can go on an iPad or an iPhone or an Android device rendered in full 3D and then we give developers control over that environment so they can build whatever they want on top of it. So it's like a map but it's really so much more capable than a standard Google map. It's much more engaging for users and developers have so much more control over what they can do with it. You can make it day, night, spring, summer, fall. You can make it snow in San Francisco. Uh, so it's, it's giving the power of video game rendering to developers to, to control the real world. You have a collection of software developers at GDC that are able to code in the very language that allows them to do great things in our app. It's based on OpenGL, meaning that it's a very simple graphics language that video game developers are familiar with. And with that knowledge, they can use our world and build on top of it in ways that only are limited by the imagination. The vision for the, the, the platform that we're building is pretty simple. The world is getting more and more services that are based on location. So I can book a table at a restaurant via open table, or I can control my thermostat because it's connected to the internet, or my dog has a video cam that I can watch from home. And all of these things only have locational relevance, and so the map itself can be a great interface to those types of services because we already are faced with so many apps on our phone that it's impossible to find the app that controls your toaster. But if you can just go to your house and then go to your kitchen, then you know exactly how to find the app that controls your toaster. So this is getting a little bit farther than that one year perspective, but we see that in the future that the explosion of hyper-local services will create the need for an interface like ours.